A company has to have a mission beyond just making profits. A company has to have the belief that they're trying to do something that's really a higher calling. We want to be a company to survive for one or two years. If we want to succeed in such a long journey, uh, we need a core in our cart, which is our value, uh, which gives people the guidance how to work and how to uh, collaborate uh, for the long term. We encourage people to evaluate how your value has been exercised or implemented. And we are trying to take this chance to remain of ourselves and the team member. We should stick to the good behavior. So that's the purpose for the access of the value. We look at the actual specific phrases that we use, the six values, and then we try to improve things. I think one of the most significant improvements that we did was we used the Alibaba colloquialism, Ali Tu Hua, to really express what we mean, because there's actually a lot of wisdom and a lot of history of why certain things came about, why certain people said certain things. In 2007, uh, 2008, that's the economic winter. And then a lot of uh, SMEs uh, were impacted. Uh, you know, there are a lot of SMEs doing export business. After many, many rounds of discussion, we decided to cut our uh, product price by 60% to try to help these exporters to remain their business, right, to do business in this winter. This was truly based on this customer first, and the investors are all very shocked, right? That main product accounts for like 60, 70% of our total revenue. All the rationale is very simple, is that we need to help these. If without these SMEs, we're gonna go out of business. So customer must be the first. We gotta take care of the employees so that they serve the customers well, and the customers are happy. The employees are the ones that are actually creating the value, not the shareholders. And that's why we put the shareholders third. Shareholder third, because what we're saying to the shareholders is that if you take care of your customers, they're happy. And if you take care of your employees, they're working very hard to create the value, then the company will naturally have value. So it's that logical progression. Why does trust make things simple? Because Without trust, it doesn't matter how many rules you have, it doesn't matter how many hard assets you have, it doesn't matter how beautiful your products may appear, people just won't be your customers. Trust is also important inside the company. We keep on building the trust, making things more transparent, and the trust can be built within the organization. This is very critical so that that the teams can work more closely together. But should be starting with myself. Are we put more confidence in our team? Are we put more trust for our friend, for our team team players? We should kind of appreciate people, try to understand the people, put our feet in the people's shoes. We used to say embrace change. It's like the boss telling all of their team to change for the sake of changing, or the team says, well, you know, You've just moved the goalposts on me. So that's why you want me to change. So we thought that rather than creating a command from the boss to the employee, uh, we want to describe the circumstances for every person that works in the company. Our circumstance is that we work in a fast-changing environment, and the only constant is change. Everybody around you is getting better. Your competitors are getting better. Your customers every year is expecting better and better service. So you have to get better. You can't just rest on your laurels. You can't be complacent. That's what it means. We, we're telling our employees, don't be complacent. Always try to find ways to improve. And in Chinese, we have a saying, Sang Jing, you know, you're always improving. You're, you're looking up. You're not looking behind the rearview mirror and saying, well, I did a great job. I really like this, if not now, when, if not me, who, because I can feel two significant messages from this sentence. The first one, you have full confidence on yourself. You can do the good things for your team, for your company, for your customer. 
sometimes even for the society. You are doing very valuable things. From that part, I can feel proud of myself. And the second message I can get from this sentence is that sometimes you have to take some responsibility uh, for other people. Yeah, maybe in some, uh, during some time you are not ready for the challenges, but just uh, keep the confidence on yourself and try to learn how to be ready for that. We always think about uh, we got to work serious, we got to live happily, but it's exactly the opposite. Uh, and it's because at Alibaba, when we first started, you know, we're an entrepreneurial type of founder-led business, right? At work, all of your colleagues, all of your co-founders are part of the family. Today, we still feel that way. At home, because you're away from work for so long, you don't get to see your family very often. So you, whenever you have time, those, those minutes are precious and you want to spend time, you got to have to like what you do. Otherwise, you're not going to be very effective. So with this value, we want people to find something uh, unified, uh, at least something similar. And we may express this in different way, but we behave the same. You're not going to buy into it from day one. It takes years and years of time. That's why we say it takes three years to become Alivan. When you really get to appreciate uh, the wisdom behind those values, then you can pull together as a team and try to achieve uh, our goal. Today we have people from all over the world and uh, we share the same platform, we share the same vision. And it's a time for us to work together to share the new value 